Today we're going to look at how to set up a title page and how to make citations, in-text citations and citation, a full citation on your reference page. So let's get started. I want to set up to make a title page. All right. Everything is supposed to be already centered according to this and then I'm going to make sure everything is double spaced so I'm going to click on 2 then I'm going to press enter until I get to about 3.5 on my on my left hand ruler guide here and the first thing that goes in is the title women in leadership that's the topic that I am interested in and the second thing that's going to go is my name and then Indiana Wesleyan University after that your course and this particular course is ADM 201 followed by a semicolon and a space and your particular cohort After this, I'll put the the facilitator's name and the date that the pres that your paper is due, as opposed to the day that you do it. What day is it due? I'm going to put today's date. So, let me look at that in my preview. There it is, as centered as can possibly be. It's, it's horizontally centered and vertically centered. This is how I want it to be. And I started, as I said, around about just below three, around about three and a half on my, on my ruler guide on the left here. Okay, so check it. Send it up or down, depending on what you have to do to keep it centered vertically and horizontally. All right. Now, I'm pressing control with my left hand and enter with my right hand and that gives me a new page. I no longer want centered. I want to go ahead and start my paper. So I'm typing away happily. And I want to insert a quote. I want to find something from from OCLS, Off-Campus Library Services. So I'm going to bring that up. Let me back up a little bit here. Let me get back to the original spot. All right. I am in OCLS, um, IWU Jackson Library, and I put, I'm going to put in um, leadership, women in leadership, no, I'm just going to put leadership here, because the more words you use, the less likely you are to come up with something. African... American, and then this one I'm going to put women. Let's see if it will bring anything up for me. All right, there's 240, 204 results for for putting those pieces in. Looking at what is available. If it says check journal title search for availability, the likelihood is that it's too new. This is September, October 2008. You might not be able to get that. That, you, that might not be available to you. I wouldn't worry about those. I go looking for something that has HTML full text, PDF full text, because I can, I can access those easily and quickly. 
so in the driver's seat but hey that looks like a good good one let's look this is the first african-american female assembly plant manager at general motors let's find out about her All right so i'm going to click on pdf full text and that will take me to the full article in the driver's seat all right Say that I find something in here that I want to quote. I would, and I want to use it in my paper. I have to start cite it correctly. So I'm going to start off by clicking citation. All right. That takes me to a different screen. Citation is there again, but the one that I'm interested in is this orange one over here. You'll get used to recognizing that. What I'm trying to find is the exact ref um, citation that will go in my references section. So I click on that orange one icon, and it brings up every kind of citation for all the different kinds of um, all the different kinds of citations that you can make. The only one that I'm interested in is APA. Indiana Wesleyan University uses APA. So, I'm going to highlight it, go up to edit, copy. I want to copy that citation. All right. Now, I'm going back to my original paper. I'm pressing control enter to get to a new page. I'm going to go center and write the word references. I'll come off center and go to the left. Go to edit and I want to paste. So here is the here is the citation that I copied from AP from OCLS. Now I have to have a hanging indentation. So I'm going to highlight all of this. I'm going up to Format. I'm going to press on Paragraph. And under Special, I want Hanging. And I'm going to press OK. OK. It changed it. Now I have a hanging indent. And this is the way it's supposed to be. I'm checking it. And I find that it's page 124. And there's only one page. So, this is 2008, and it's by a W. Harris. So, for my in-text citation, I'm going to go back up here. And before the period, I'm going to open parentheses. I'm going to write Harris, 2008, comma, and what was the page number? Page number is 124. So I'm going to add page number, page period 124. I'm going to close parentheses and the period will be after that. Okay. So I have my in-text citation, Harris 2008, page 24 in parentheses. And I have my full citation under my ref that's going to be in alphabetical order that is going to be in alphabetical order by the author's last name and while I'm at it I'm going to go up and correct my page number in my in-text citation I believe I put 24 and it's supposed to be 124 these are the important things to check okay page 124 not 24 Use this device. It's very helpful with all the punctuation and different things that are in, um, that go into a, a reference. It's very handy just to be able to cut and paste it and know that it's essentially accurate. If you find mistakes like a, a, a second period, you may have to take that out, but essentially your citation is correct every single time. Hope this has been helpful.